In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to detect scenes in a video clip using a new tool available in PowerDirector version 17. The clip that you're working on can be in one of two places. Either it can be in your Capture Content screen, if you've captured that video, or it can be in the Media Library, your Media Room. You don't have to take that and move it to a timeline in order to detect the scenes. Click on the picture of the video with the right mouse button and from the pop-up menu, click on Detect Scenes. We'll open up a scene detection window and proceed in most cases to go through the detection process on its own. If it doesn't, simply click the button at the bottom that says Detect and it will repeat that process. Now when it starts, it puts this sensitivity area here at 50%. And so that is a default for scene detection. You can move it up to 100 or down as low as 0. If I turn this to 100% and redetect, in this case it doesn't change the results at all. It may in your situation just depending on the, the video that you have and how the algorithm works in that particular case. Let me describe the screen. You have obviously a preview screen here. Then you have a bar that shows you where it has decided your scenes are split. Then every time it finds a scene it puts it in the panel on the right. It tells you the scene number. It gives you a duration a start and stop time for the scene. There are two ways to, to preview this. The default is clip which will play the entire original clip on the screen from beginning to end. If you click on segment, what segment will do is it will show you one of the scenes that you've chosen independently of that. I click on scene 2, now I see the segment only of scene 2 and scene 3 likewise. There is a glitch that I think I found in this first version of PowerDirector 17. That's that the thumbnails on the scenes are not always accurate. You notice this one is a runner on a beach, and this one are the people around the campfire. And instead, I have a thumbnail for part of the Jeep scene, and this thumbnail should be up here, and this should be a different thumbnail. However, when I export this, when I click on OK, the thumbnail that I find in my project is right in every case. So what it does, it creates a subfolder and then it creates a copy of each of those segments inside the subfolder that you can drag down to your timeline or use any other way you prefer. If you want to remove them from your media room, Simply highlight them and delete them and it will actually delete the folder to which they belong. We're going to go back into our tool here for Detect Scenes. I'd like to show you a few more features of this particular uh, project. There's one other thing that you have to keep in mind and that's that it will not necessarily detect all your scenes no matter how high you make the sensitivity. I have actually four scenes in this clip and it only found three. My third scene, if I click here, is the walker on the beach, but then I have waves coming in on the beach. And these two may be close enough together that it can't tell the difference. I happen to know that my fourth scene begins at 1 minute, 23 seconds, and, and 1 frame. So I will change my time indicator to that and then we'll use the forward and backward by a frame arrow. There's my one scene, here's my last scene. And if it fails to detect all the scenes or you want to add any manually, what you do is click on the button on the right called Split. You move the, t the indicator to that moment in your clip and click on there and now it added my last scene. Another feature you can do is you can combine scenes. Let's assume I'm over here and I add another scene and I decide, well, what I'd like to do is put these two into one. 
The way I can do that is simply highlight both of them and then when I do the merge button will become active. When I click on merge it will merge the two scenes together. They have to be adjacent to one another to do that. If I want to start all over again I just click on remove all and it will, I can say yes and then I can click on detect and it will go back and detect well it can but notice again it did not get my last scene in here. There are a couple of preferences you can change if I click on the advanced settings the gear if I have a DVAVI I have an option to detect by the change of frame or time code but since I don't have that both of these are grayed out so the only option I have right now is to disable or enable preview during detection if this is unchecked and you're enabling the preview basically what it will do is it will slow down the process it will take longer so most users will probably leave this box checked we will cancel out of there and so those are some of the highlights of this tool when you're done again simply click on OK and it will take your clips and put them in a subfolder in the timeline you can move from the subfolder to the main folder the original folder and to move back to the subfolder just click on the folder icon in the lower right corner and that will get you your subfolder of your different scenes that you can populate any way you want to in your project in CyberLink PowerDirector version 17.